Hey y'all, well we're talking some more blowers here this evening. Uh, we got another uh, inline 671 blower just like on our car over there, identical to it. And I think I found another, I think I found another project for this thing. We just haven't got the vehicle bought yet. Um, and here we got a V-series blower for a V8 Detroit. Uh, Similar yet different. The the mounting's all different. Whereas on your your inlines, they just uh, got eight bolts bolted in, and and on this uh, V series, it's got a mounting bolt. This is a mounting bolt position. That's a mounting bolt position, and then you had bolts that went down at an angle with little special clips on them. And uh, had another member. He was talking about putting. He's got a six six V seventy one blower, which would be similar to this, only it's about four inches shorter. And I just think it just has two tie down points here. And we kind of got to thinking uh, he's going to put it on a four forty Mopar engine. And I think the first thing I did is probably find a get find your intake manifold. Um, and more than likely, whatever intake manifold you find is going to have a bolt pattern for the 671, and then probably going to have to make a template and do an adapter plate. You know, you probably want minimum a half inch thick, maybe a little bit thicker. I guess it could be done out of aluminum, or I think you can buy them. Um, and then you're going to just set, set this guy up here. Look at him just for the heck of it. Kind of got my curiosity up because because I've, I've seen these blowers used like on street rods before. They're not as common though, but I, I know I've seen them somewhere. I just can't couldn't remember where. And then I guess you just uh, mark your holes, drill and tap. And go from there. And of course, if we was wanting to use this blower, uh, our adapter plate would have to be longer to come out to catch our uh, our mounting bolt holes up on top. It's too short for that. But uh, like I said, this is an 8V71, and, and uh, this other gentleman's working with a 6V71, so it's going to be be shorter. But that's just an idea that came to my head. And something else. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned this in my other videos on these blowers. We had really good luck. This is a place we got some product from. Uh, Diamond P Industries. They're in Muncie, Indiana. And they've got bearing plates, uh, your back bearing plate, your carburetor plates. That's where we got that would have came from, and, and our back bearing plate came from Diamond P. Greg Phillips is the owner, really good guy to deal with. I'll go ahead and link these guys in the video. It also helps if you got the Detroit diesel manual when you're going through these blowers that helps to have that. We're, we're Detroit people in case anybody didn't figure that out yet. We got we got Detroit diesels and trucks and equipment. I think I got 12 of those engines yet. And the people at Blower Drive Service in California were very helpful. A lady by the name of Christina, very sharp on this stuff. Um, they may even have they may even have the adapter plate already made for that V style blower. I just don't know. Uh, I've seen them in books, but I've never looked at one in person. And I just kind of got to thinking about that the other day. I mean, it could definitely be done. Uh, guy could either make it himself or have a machine shop make it. But that's how we start out. We just make a wood wood template and go from there.
Yeah, this is what they look like when you when you begin. They're just covered with grease and oil, and, and uh, this this is this one's pretty dry. That's about the driest one I think of. Of course, that's that V motor. It sits on top, and you always have to have a can of ether around because that's about the only thing that'll take it uh, Detroit all oil, oil off your skin. That stuff is just it's just like a dye. It just gets in your pores and won't hardly come out. Well, we'll see you folks.